Number 17, predict the sign of the entropy change for the following processes, and then give a reason for your prediction. Okay, so in this case, we have a balanced equation. If they give you a balanced equation and they're looking for the sign of the entropy, you don't really have to necessarily focus on what compounds or molecules that they give you. What's more important is the states that they're in. So in this case, yeah, okay, we have iron, but we're starting off with a solid plus a gas, and we're going to something that is just a solid. Now, we want to find out what that sign of the entropy change is, right? Remember, entropy is just talking about randomness of molecules or, you know, chaos that's going on in the system disorder. And when we're going to start doing the math with entropy, entropy is an S variable. Now they want us to find the change, so we're trying to find the delta S, right? That triangle just means the change. What's going from where we started to where we ended? Well, just know that if you're starting off with a solid and you're going to liquid and to a gas, gases have the most entropy, mainly because those molecules are all over the place, right? But if we just talk about a solid, there's less randomness because those molecules are like stacked right on top of each other. But if you're going in the backwards direction, you're losing entropy. So that's why it would be negative. Now, in this case, we started off with a solid, literally plus, and we started off with a gas, and we just went to something that was a solid. Now, since these states are different, we don't even care about how many we have, right? I don't care that there's two, there's three halves, or there's one of these. In this side, which one has the most entropy? It's the gas. So the gas is going to pull the most weight on this side. You started off with the gas, so that's a high entropy value. However, on the product side, you took that gas away. The only thing that's remaining is a solid, right? There's no gas on this side. So the solid is a very, very low entropy. So in essence, you start, you know, you're, you're starting off with the gas and you went to just a solid. Seems like a negative delta S to me, right? You had some gases in there that was going all bouncing all over the place like crazy, but then you just turned into a solid. So the delta S value, the change in entropy, would have to be a negative value. You could also say that the delta S could be less than zero, but since they wanted the sign, I would say that the delta S being a negative value would be more correct, because that's an actual sign. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, tell your friends about this cool channel. You know, this cool channel. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well out there. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.